Guys, today we're at a Peaceful Garden Cemetery in Lubbock, Texas. We're uh, in the pet cemetery part, and we're just gonna take a look at some of the uh, creative um, stones and uh, just some of the love people showed for their pets. You know, we recently lost Poe. Uh, if you've seen the uh, creepy uh, restaurants, he was in that video, and uh, he died a few months ago. And man, we all miss him. I mean. I miss him a whole lot. He was always there. He was such a great friend. I love him so much. I just, uh, it's just, it's, we're not used to him gone yet. And, uh, since I, since I was a kid, I'd come here and pay my respects when we'd come see our relatives and, you know, I'm just an animal lover, I guess. But we're going to take a short little walk around here and just uh, look at some of these tombstones and See how they've maintained this part of the cemetery over the last few decades. Let's go on out here, guys. Let's, uh, let's see what we can see back here. I'm going to take a quick stroll through the pet cemetery. Look at this. Dutchess, 1957 to 1974. Tech. Sure named after Texas Tech. 65 to 79. Look at that little tombstone. Isn't that cute? Cinderella. You know, pets are part of our family. I mean, I sure do miss mine. My boy Poe. A little bit, wow, 1971 to 1984, 68 to 84. Everybody's friend, Jojo. They take better care of this area. These people did pay for this. Nineteen fifty nine to nineteen seventy four. Heather Rose. You can see it real close. It's a Schnauzer. The dog who brought laughter to everyone. Mm. Here's a kitty. 55 to 71. Okay. What? And that's a collie there. Friend and companion of all friends. Sammy Kessler. Frankie. You can make it out, it looks like a collie, glassy. Little bear, it's gotta be a German Shepherd. And that is the same family from Frankie. That is really nice. There's a classic dog name right there, Spot. Nappy, 67 to 1980, and it looks like a the giant Schnauzer breed. And right next to it is another Schnauzer, Pixie, 77 to 88. Yeah, and it has the same. It's from the same family. It has the uh, family's name. Beloved and cherished companion Martha, Jerry, Brian, and Paula. 
Look at Duffy. They're still leaving soap for Duffy. This is a uh, fresh like dog toys. There's a stone here. I don't know what it says. I don't want to disturb it. There's these animals, these dogs and cats. They all live play great lives. Beauty Beth, our baby, 61 to 70. I can't remember what those kind of dogs are called. Now we walk further west, and as you can see, there's some some in the 2000s, 2005. Looks like another cute little German Shepherd. And here's another. Schnauzer. Those are really good dogs. We have one right now. It's kind of a family dog. But stays with us. Stays with my parents. Really neat story with Jowski. Mr. McGee. 2003. And then here's a uh, 2007. And it's... You know, another Schnauzer. I didn't realize there was so many recent burials here. Because here's one from 2014. It's disappointed with the way they maintained the pet part of this. Because these people all paid their money. My dad used to bring me here when I was a kid. And it seems so far away. It was like, no, no, none of this was back here. It was just all open land. You know, the older you get, of course, you start seeing cemeteries change in population. And that's what's happened here. But I always loved coming to see these cats and dogs. And I know there's some rabbits in here. I just can't find those again, but they're there. All this over here looking this way, it was just empty fields. So much loss. Now up here at the top, here's one from 2015, 2018, 2017. Wow. wow this is a this is a fresh one here. 2021 sky. Wow. All these are fresh ones. There's the dearly departed. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. here at the Peaceful Garden Cemetery. Love of Texas. There's the pet cemetery here, and I've got a lot of family members over there that we've paid our respects to. But uh, I just want to come over here. I, I've been coming to this part when I was a kid. Anytime I come into town, I always, of course, I go see my loved ones, my beloved grandmothers. And God, I miss them so much. My uncles, aunts, and um, but I always make time to come to the pet cemetery. The kids, all the kids are adults, niecey, everybody, but they they still like coming here. What I do like about this part is it backs right up to cotton fields back here. You know, it's really pretty. All the cotton they're known for around here. Thanks for coming out and seeing with us, guys. We'll see you on down the line.